Today's video is all about the top five investments every solo player should make in GTA Online. Not to be confused with the top five ways to make money in GTA 5 Online. That video is actually going to be coming out on Thursday. So what's the difference between a good investment and a good top five ways to make money or something like that? Well, let me explain it to you. So in this video, the top five investments I have, they're going to be things that are going to make your life easier. Things that you should 100% invest in as soon as you are possible. Or as soon as it is possible, I should say. These are things that I use every single day. Hello, ladies. Uh, things that I use every single day and genuinely, they just make my life easier. Things that I could go without buying any other thing in this game as long as I have these five things. Just the most five important things that you have to invest in right away. And I promise you, spending your hard-earned cash on tons of vehicles that have rockets coming out of the bloody exhaust and all that stuff, it's just that's not going to be any of these investments. I promise you that. So what are these investments, you might ask? Well, let's get into it right now. So, starting off at number five. So, in my number five slot, I have something that everyone should invest in pretty much right away, and that is good weapons. Now, obviously, when you're starting out, you don't really know what weapons to get. You can search online, but this is something that you need to make sure you get, especially if you're playing in public lobbies. But I would assume most people these days play in invite-only lobbies, just like the one that I'm in right now. So, what are we going to have for number five? So, this is some of the weapons that I use. So, the gun I probably use the most, to be honest with you, is this thing right here, the Comja... Comjet, the combat machine gun. I did upgrade it to the Mark II, um, but this is just a really good gun. I feel like if I'm being chased by helicopters, this is a really good gun just to shoot the pilot out of it. And it's an all around solid gun. My favorite gun, however, is probably this, the assault shotgun. I fell in love with this gun, basically from doing the KO Preco heist so many times. Um, and I have it set up just like the one I use in the KO Preco heist. It has the extended clip, which I don't think that one has, but it has the suppressor on it. This thing is just awesome. It, it absolutely one-shops people. It is also a gun that, with the silencer on it, you can be stealthy with. It's just an all-around amazing gun. Now, obviously, since this new update that just came out, we have this thing right here, the railgun. If, excuse me, I'm doing a video, bugger off. Uh, if, if you are a solo player, since this thing came out, you need it. Um, this thing can one-shot helicopters if you're doing missions. You know in these missions, there's always two helicopters that spawn you've got to take out. This thing just one-shots them. It, I mean, look at this thing. Can we just give an appreciation? It's insanity. This thing, let's go for this car all the way over here, shall we? Absolutely bloody insanity. So yeah, this is definitely my favorite gun. But number five, top best investments is going to be weapons. Make sure you get some decent weapons. Number two on my list of most top five best investments uh, is the CEO office. Now, the CEO office, the reason this is so important is mainly because, A, you can source missions from here for your cargo warehouses. But B, and something that I absolutely love for the CEO office, is if you go into your CEO menu here, you can go into VIP work, which is not going to be able to work from inside this location, but you can source like really good paying missions. But also the thing that is most important to me is obviously if you're playing in a public lobby, which I do sometimes if I'm doing delivery missions because I want to make the most money possible, you have the ghost organization which is it's just so good and then not only that the thing that i use it for even more is probably the vehicles which is going to be like the buzzard you can spawn this thing anywhere it is a lifesaver i wouldn't be i wouldn't have been able to get the amount of money i have right now as fast as i did if i didn't have this buzzard by my side man i am telling you that is incredible so with that being said, going off the CEO office with the buzzard, number three most important investment, in my opinion, is a good vehicle. Rock and roll, dude. I'll catch you later. Yep, yeah, rock and roll to you too, my guy. Uh, <laughs> and with this, I don't mean go out and buy something like a scramjet or like this, like a Deluxo for four, almost five million. Yes, these are good vehicles, but you don't need them. You're just going to be wasting your money. I think one of the most important investments, especially early on, and one of my favorite vehicles in this game is this thing right here. This is the first thing I ever, or first vehicle I ever purchased. I was saving up just to get this. And obviously with the CEO office, when you go into your menu right here, go on CEO vehicles, you can just spawn this thing for free once you own it absolutely anywhere. And there it is. 
We've got our buzzard. This thing will help you out so much if you're trying to make some quick cash. Like you can go over here, go to your CEO, VIP work, and just do the headhunter. This gives you like 40 grand every 10 minutes. And this thing will do it effortlessly. Just make sure you fly it a little bit better than me and you'll be golden. So other than the buzzard, which I honestly think is the best investment you can make. Like I say, you can just spawn this whenever you're CEO. Uh, absolutely anywhere. This thing has helped me out. I wouldn't be able to... I, the amount of money I have made effortlessly just because I have this. Being able to get around the map fast and easy. It's just one of my favorite vehicles in the game. Other than this, obviously people are going to say like the Oppressor Mark II, which is a great vehicle. Don't get me wrong. It's really good for solo play. Um, obviously, Griefers use it if you're going to be in online lobbies, like public lobbies. But it is a really decent vehicle to get around with. But in all honesty, I still choose the Buzzard over the Oppressor pretty much all the time. Even though I do have a few vehicles, this is all I have. It, it may seem like a lot, but it's not. I bought most of them on sale or like the Banshee, which is actually my favorite vehicle I own as far as cars are concerned. This was free. So <laughs> I do have a lot of vehicles, but I'll tell you, I never use these. These is literally all of them. Some of them were just made so I can make a video on them because I like the pictures, like the purple one behind us, the Comet. But the majority of them I never, ever use. I would say the buzzard is all you need. And obviously, probably even more important is the sparrow that goes in the Kasaka. But we'll talk about that a little later on. So in my number two slot, the thing that every solo player needs to invest in, this just makes your life a little bit easier, is the arcade. Now, obviously, you can see mine's empty. You can fill this thing up and make actually a ton of money uh, passively just from the arcade. But this is the real reason. Let me show you why this is one of the most important things to own as a solo player. And you guys already know, it's down in the basement. So within the arcade, not only is it my number two thing I think all solo players should invest in, and I'll show you that, but there's three reasons. Number one reason being that you have a nice garage. Obviously, you have to pay for it, but you have a place to store your vehicles. I personally, like I say, I don't spend a lot of money on vehicles. I don't see the need in it. Two of these vehicles were ones I stole off the street. The one on my left right here or on my right was free that I just modded, and then I got the two oppressors. Um, when they were on sale. And in all honesty, I don't really use them. The number two thing is going to be this, which looks kind of uneventful right now because I haven't done it in a while. But it is the casino, the Diamond Casino Heist. Now, this is a really good heist. It's a lot of fun. Unfortunately, I say solo players. And the Diamond Casino Heist isn't a solo one. You have to do it with people. Um, so that's honestly the reason I don't really do it very often. But it is a lot of fun. But the number one reason and the main reason I bought this place, let's go over here and take a look, is for this right here, the Central Command Center. Now, again, these are top five investments. And in my opinion, the top five things are things that I just genuinely... It's not that I can't live without them. They just make my time so much easier. You guys know I'm all about the fastest, easiest way to make money in this game. And this just helps that. So obviously, if we go into this thing right here, I'm sure you're familiar. If you're not, you need to get one of these things as soon as you make enough money to be able to do it. And of course, my top five ways to make money as a solo player, that's going to be out on Thursday so you can make money to buy these things. But what can this thing do? Well, just look at it. You can go into your gun running business. You can go in here. You can uh, resupply if you want to. So let me go ahead. Look at that. Boom. We've resupplied from right here. We don't have to fly all the way over there or, you know, start a new lobby to fast transport us there. We can go into the same thing for the cocaine business, the Casvic Cash, all of the businesses we have, we can source things right from one location. So when you log in in the morning, you can come here, source everything, and then go do what you've got to do for the day. So in my opinion, that's why I have this ranked pretty high on my solo uh, investments. It just makes my life a lot easier. And I should also mention that I only really purchased a lot of these businesses when they're on sale. So I did purchase this on sale, um, but it is, I would have purchased it anyway, but it's a great business. You make passive money from the arcade. You have the garage down below. You can launch the heist from here. And this being the most important thing, the central command center just makes your life a little bit easier. Anyway, on to number one. This thing needs no introduction, ladies and gentlemen. The Kasaka. Now, this thing, not only is it most definitely going to be in my video on Thursday, 
of the top five ways to make money. But it is just an incredible thing to have as a solo player. Obviously, you can fast travel this thing around the map for doing missions. You can drive this thing around. It has decent weapons and stuff like that. It also has the Sparrow. I said that the Buzzard was one of my favorite vehicles in the game. This is up there tied with it. You can spawn this thing just like the Buzzard as I can go into my secure thing here and go and spawn the Buzzard. I can also go into services, Kasatka, and I can request this vehicle also anywhere on the map. It just makes life so much easier. I typically don't use it for sourcing this vehicle when I'm out and about. I'll use the Buzzard for that because it obviously it has much better armor. But as you guys know, you've been following my channel. I do the KO Priya heist all the time. And this thing is a necessity. I do not have the submarine. I don't even know where that would be down there. I didn't waste my money on that because I know I would never use it. But my God, do you need this vehicle and this submarine? And then obviously, this is a familiar room, a familiar setup. You've seen me stand here on my intros multiple times. The main reason you need to invest in this is if you want to make money as a solo player, this is a solo heist. Not only is it insanely fun, I love doing this, as you guys know, but it makes you so much money. You can make so much money with this Kasatka. It is definitely my number one investment for solo player. It's not that expensive. I, again, purchased this on sale, but it is not that expensive. And the money you make from this, you'll pay off this within like one run, maybe two runs, but it, it'll pay for itself almost immediately so anyway guys that's my advice that's my top five investments let me know in the comment section down below if you agree if you disagree but starting off we had good weapons you need to get good weapons not only if you're in a public lobby i rarely play in public lobbies these days but just completing missions you want to make it easier for yourself and like i say that assault shotgun is probably my favorite the rail gun is getting up there for a solo player i think that's incredible um, but that's number five. Number four, obviously the CEO office. That's going to be super important, especially when I talk about my top five ways to make money on Thursday. But it is super important not only to make money, but also that buzzard, baby. I love that buzzard. And then that brings us on to number three, which was decent vehicles. Obviously for me, I love the buzzard. I love the sparrow. I don't really use ground vehicles that often, so I don't really waste my money on them. Um, but number two, going into the arcade. Again, solo player, put all your businesses in one place, be able to just log in, source all the things you need to do, and then go out on your day and be able to make money elsewhere. And then obviously coming in here at number five with the Kasaka, it's just a beast. I don't think anyone would disagree with me on this one. I don't think I've missed anything. The reason I did this list is because A, a lot of people have been asking me for something like this, especially the money one, which is coming up on Thursday. But B, it's just things I need. What do I use every single day that I really can't live without anymore? And that is these five things. Everything else I don't need. I don't use every day. This is it. Let me know your top five in the comment section down below. I genuinely would be really curious to see what yours are. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Give me some explanations too. I would love to see it. But I'll see you on Thursday with my top five ways to make money as a solo player. Because I do believe... There's a lot of videos out there from YouTubers saying like, oh, how to make X amount of money an hour. But I guarantee you that is not how they actually make money. They just, you know, they make those videos, but that's not how they actually make money. So I'm going to tell you guys how I actually make money. And it's not going to be, you know, how to make a million in an hour. I promise you. But anyway, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I will catch you tomorrow with a brand new video. Thanks for the love and support on the channel recently. It really genuinely does mean a lot to me. So be sure if you did enjoy it, like it, hit the notification button so you know when I upload more videos. Subscribe if you're new, share the video maybe if you want, if you think someone else will like it. And I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Goodbye.